Why FaceTime photos not saving? Many possible factors cause the problem. Here are the four main factors. First, incorrect privacy settings can prevent photos from saving successfully. This feature refers to Apple's privacy policy. Second, your device may have run out of storage space. Third, unstable network connection also affect the function. Last, iOS system issues. Sometimes it's because of an outdated iOS version, and sometimes it could be deeper system glitches. Since we know the possible reasons, what can we do? This video offers 10 solutions, let's go through them one by one. First, both you and the other person have to enable FaceTime Live Photos in Settings. Go to Settings, and scroll down the screen to find FaceTime. Next, make sure the FaceTime Live Photos is turned on. Second, checking and managing your device's storage space. Ensure there is enough space for your photos. Go to Settings, tap on General and then choose iPhone Storage. Now you can see a detailed situation of your iPhone storage. Free up your space when needed. Third, follow the steps below to check if there is a privacy restriction, and if so, remove it. Open Settings, and tap on Screen Time. Scroll down the screen to find content and privacy restrictions. Tap Allowed Apps. Make sure the FaceTime and camera are both enabled. Fourth, don't forget to check the network connection. You can choose a stable Wi-Fi or use 5G cellular. If still nothing works, you can try to reset network settings. Open settings and tap on general. Scroll down the screen to find Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap on Reset and then choose Reset Network Settings. Fifth, disable iCloud Photos and then turn it back on. Open Settings, scroll down the screen to find Photos. Toggle off iCloud Photos. Wait for about one minute and turn it on again. Sixth, restarting is a quick and easy fix to address most temporary glitches. Open settings, scroll down the screen to find FaceTime. Next, toggle off FaceTime, wait for about one minute, and then turn it back on. Seventh, reinstalling the FaceTime app may help resolve potential issues with the app itself. Tap and hold the FaceTime icon on your home screen. Select Remove App, then Delete App. Then, go to the App Store and search for FaceTime to install it again. Don't forget to check the settings mentioned above after reinstalling. Eighth. It's also important to check and install the latest iOS version. Go to Settings and tap on General. Choose Software Update, and you will see whether your iOS is up to date. If there is an available update, choose Update Now. Ninth, reset your device. It should only be taken after backing up important data. Go to Settings, and tap on General. Scroll down the screen and choose Transfer or Reset iPhone. Then, tap on Erase All Content and Settings. Last, if you want the easiest and safest way to fix the problem, or if you have tried all the above methods without success, you can try a professional iOS repair software, Joyo Share Alt Fix. Step 1, open Joyo Share Alt Fix and choose iOS System Repair. Then click the Start button. Step 2, choose Standard Repair Mode. Step 3, download a matching firmware package. Step 4, click the Start Standard Repair button to start the process. Now, your problem should have been solved. Thank you for watching, hope this video can help you.